Welcome back to the Total Bow Shop. We're here today, we're gonna to apply some uh, epoxy primer on our plug here. Our plug here has been fully sanded with uh, 80 grit and is ready to apply primer to. We're gonna be using the All Grit 545 epoxy primer system. It's a one-to-one uh, -one epoxy primer that we mixed earlier, as you can see right here, and we've been letting it induct. And uh, now we're pretty much ready to start brushing it on. Commonly this is sprayed, but here we'll be applying it with a two-inch chip brush. We're just gonna keep brushing more uh, primer all over our piece. There's no real secret here. We just brush it on and make sure you get some good even coverage. You don't wanna lay too much in one spot, but this will get sanded down anyway, so you just wanna make sure you build up properly. We're gonna be doing two coats of uh, epoxy 545 primer just so that we can build up more material so that we have more to work with when we're sanding down our plug. Again, we'll be just brushing this on, try to get even coverage and try to catch all your runs so you don't have too much to sand off. When you're sanding your part, if you break through in any spot, you might need to do a secondary application. Once you have done your secondary application, you wanna sand your whole part to about a 400 grit finish. First off, before you start waxing, you'll wanna clean off your plug. I'm gonna wipe mine down real quick with some acetone just to make sure it's nice and clean. Once it's cleaned off, you can start building up wax. I'm going to be using just a regular mold release wax and I'll be wiping it on, waiting a little bit and wiping it off. I'm going to repeat this process several times as you can never build up too much wax on your part. The wax is very important as it'll allow the plug to come out of the first mold half that we're going to lay up. Once I'm satisfied with my wax buildup, I'm going to put in a flange to separate my plug into two different halves as I'm going to be making a two-part mold. To affix the flange, I'll be using hot glue and some tongue compressors. You just want to drop a little bit of hot glue along the center line of your part. And uh, while the hot glue is still hot, you can move it around and make sure that it's properly centered. Um, once you're happy with its position, you can start building little supports with the tongue depressors to make sure that it's properly supported to lay up glass onto. Once the flange is attached to the plug, we're going to go back with some wax and make sure to fill any gaps between the flange and the plug itself. Now we're ready to begin the mold making process. First off, we're gonna to wanna to build up some gel coat on our plug. We're gonna be using some Total Boat brand white polyester gel coat, which comes prepackaged with the MEKP Catalyst. We're gonna be kicking this off at about 2% by volume and applying it with a foam brush. You wanna make sure that you get good coverage in your first coat. You wanna make sure that you apply gel coat to both your flange and your plug. I'll be using the table here as my bottom flange. You want to make sure you have proper coverage over the whole plug and both of those flanges. We'll be doing two coats of gel coat here, but before you do your second coat, you want to make sure that the first coat is properly cured so that you don't have any shrink back of the first coat or any imperfections in your gel coat. This step is very important as the gel coat will become our final mold surface. Once the second layer of gel coat is cured, you're ready to start your glass buildup. We're going to be using Total Boat Laminating Polyester Resin and some matte fiberglass. The polyester resin also comes prepackaged with its MEKP catalyst and we'll be kicking it off at 2%. Using a two inch chip brush, we apply resin to the plug and then cover it with a small piece of fiberglass. We then apply more resin to fully saturate the fiberglass. It is important to not have any air bubbles between the gel coat and the fiberglass in this skin layer. So make sure to go over the entire piece with a two inch chip brush and gently tap down the fiberglass. So we'll be using a four inch wide matte fiberglass. It comes in a convenient roll. Um, we'll be just breaking off a couple strips, placing it on our plug. Uh, you wanna overlap each piece just a little bit so the strength of the fibers is continuous and just keep uh, putting strips down until you have your whole plug covered. Once the skin layer is cured, you can build up a few more layers of fiberglass for strength. We removed the first half of the mold from the plug and then cleaned up the edges, which left us with this here. As you can see, the mold half comes right off of the plug now. Here you can see the white gel coat, which uh, neatly took the shape of our plug. Um, here you see some imperfections, the little alligators that we got from our gel coat. Um, now I will be waxing this back up, placing it back on my plug, and getting it ready to repeat the process all over again on the second half, and that'll give us a full two-part mold.